Hello, welcome to class three of our second season or session, however you want to call it, session. And uh, so last class we were going over grounding. Grounding is a very important process of being able to manage the body's excessive electricity, which of course then affects your nervous system. This in turn would affect your heart rate, your blood flow, the amount that you breathe, the way that you breathe. So after the class, some of you were t explaining how your legs felt very heavy, how you felt, you know, pretty solid, grounded. And when you're in that place, it is a place where the system itself calms down. Thinking can become easier. Thought process can be easier. And managing our emotions can be easier. So today we're going to work with grounding again, but then we're also going to work with the magnetics of the body so that we're also balancing how that electricity works in the body as well. Not just, not just getting rid of the free flowing electrons or the trapped electrons, I mean, uh, not just by calming the electricity down as well, but by reunifying circuits in the body that by some sort of design, I don't know what that design is or where it comes from, but I do understand its process pretty good. And through that process of understanding the design, we understand how we can really not just calm ourselves down, but also bring ourselves up to change our emotional state. And I think now more than ever, this is a very handy thing to be able to do. So we're going to just first again come into grounding. So I want to just bend the knees. It's very important to get the legs to relax. When we, when we lock the, the legs back, we're always pushing and we're always straining the legs. And so we want the legs to relax. You want to feel your knees slightly bent. And when we're practicing these, you want to try to avoid having your knee past your toe line. This helps to really keep the knees healthy so that they're not grinding. It's a matter of weight distribution. So we're going to bring the hands down, open the fingers towards the ground, draw the elbows back so that the sternum is open. But again, we want to make sure that we're in our plumb line. Just close the eyes for a moment and go inward. So we're just going to go into the core. We're going to go into the belly, the lower back, the lower sides of the body, the bowl of the hips. And when you're breathing in, you want to feel how the pressure of your breath goes down into the hips, swelling the hips. Relax the shoulders, let them sink. Keep the tip of the tongue connected to the root of the palate just behind the top front teeth. And again, this is keeping the two main meridians in sync with each other, keeping a full loop called the microcosmic orbit. with that sensation of uh, breathing and floating in water. So that as you're breathing out, you're contracting the diaphragm, you're contracting the core, drawing in and up. This is where you would sink. And then when you're breathing in, you're drawing the breath pressure down into the hips, swelling like a balloon, so that you again become buoyant. Push gently into the ground when you breathe in. And then sink into the ground when you breathe out, allowing your legs to relax. Every 
every so often, <clears throat> it's important to do body scans. You just scan the body for unnecessary tension. the fingers down to the sides, allowing the blood to sink right to the tips of the fingers. I'm going to push into the ground and open the elbows. And we're just going to come up a little bit. Feel how the energy moves like a whip back down to the tips of the fingers as you come back down. We're going to move really slow here. Move in coordination with the breath. I'm going to breathe in, open, Feel your body swelling. Feel your body coming up buoyant. Breathing out. It releases out the, fing the tips of the fingertips as you come back down, nice and slow sinking. The internal body is doing the opposite of the external body. So that as I'm breathing in and I'm lifting up, the pressure of my breath is moving down. And then when I sink down, the pressure of the breath is moving up and out, leaving the body. When the body has no breath, it becomes denser, it sinks. And so we want to allow the body to sink with that process. Push into the ground when you breathe in. Try to push into the ground in a way that it feels like a V forming, so that the pressure of the push comes right up under the groin. You want to feel how it activates all of the legs. You want to feel how the balls of the feet, how the toes, the heels, the sides, pushing into the ground. And then relax as you come back down. Start activating the spine, start activating the chin pump. So 
coming down with the chin tucked in, you're gonna push into the ground, breathing in, the chin slowly raises. I'm gonna, as I'm coming up, slowly rotate the hands. Keep pushing into the ground because you want to open the shoulders as you're coming up. So the rib cage turns with it, everything turns with it. And then as you're coming back down, nice and slow, rotating again. Feel that rotation. Feel how your shoulders work with your rib cage. Coming back down and push the body gently. Let all that breath out. And then again, breathe in. Again, lead with your elbows, coming up. Make sure to push into the ground, very important. And then breathe out, coming down. Sink into the ground, bend the knees with it. Allow yourself to sink. Belly's coming up, pushing that breath out. the elbows, pull in, and they're going to breathe out, pushing down. Of course, internally you're pulling up, pushing the breath out. Tuck the tailbone, then drop the fingers, breathe in, coming back up.
reverse it now, breathe out. Keep this circular movement happening here. We're going to turn the palms to face each other, drawing in and out. So imagine that you're holding onto a ball, breathing out, then breathing in, lifting, lifting, opening the body with it. Turn the ball, breathe out.
so we're going to bring the ball to the side. So you want to keep a hold of the ball. Bring it down, push into the ground as you come up, lifting the ball over the shoulders. this point you can start stretching the ball but you want to keep the palms aligned with each other keep the wrists and hands turning one hand is pushing one hand is pulling so you want to draw that intention into there you want to feel that you're really doing that really pulling with one pushing with the other and they keep changing Feel yourself grounding as you come down. Feel yourself becoming buoyant as you come up. back down, palms facing each other, come into alignment with the heart center. Okay, so I'm going to breathe in, shift my weight, again still working with that ball, hand movements than anything else, but you want to make sure you're open and grounding, pushing out, then I'm going to breathe in, this hand is pushing, this hand is pulling back to the center. back, leading with the bum. Lift that front foot, turn it, and bring it down. And at the same time, as you're coming in, you do this little circular movement. Keep the inhale going, and then as you ground and push out, then you breathe out. Coming into a stance. You want to stand straight. You want to make sure you're in your plumb line, not leaning. Then pull and push. Breathing in. Ground that breath. Try to stay in your pole. So there's never any reaching or falling back.
come back to the center. But keep doing circles now. So I'm going to go drop down through the right, up through the left. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you go down. So we're going to keep the mind in the hands. Where the mind goes, the chi follows. Where the chi flows, the mind follows. And so we want to draw the mind into participating with the hands, going into the nerves of the hands, into the sensations of the hands. The intent, pushing and pulling. Just getting it, it's kind of like miming. What would it feel like if you were really holding a ball in your hand? Let's say a metal ball. It's got some weight to it now. Can you draw weight into that sensation? So when we reverse, we're coming down, hit the center line, and <clears throat> turn it. <clears throat> Again, you're breathing out as you go down, breathing in as you come, in, come up. Working the circular movements and working your breath, keeping your breath somewhat long and tidal. And the blood is also working strong and tidal here as well. You're working with gravity, so you're enhancing the circulation. You're working through circles and through cylindrical force. You're helping to draw more blood to and from the fingertips. Okay, now we're going to come down, come up to the heart. So I got my hands kind of like on a 45 degree angle. Armpits are open. Going to draw the shoulders back. Come into a nice stance. You want to keep your knuckles open. Again, let's draw back to the breath, into the core, sink it into the hips, grounding the breath. Feel yourself like you're going to sit down on a chair. So just bringing the bum back a little bit, finding your plumb line, tip of the tongue and the root of the palate. Okay, now we're gonna inhale. As you push into your legs, you're going to reach up in front on a 45. Then breathe out, bring it back. Coming back to the heart center. Again, you want to try to keep your knuckles open, keep the bones of the hands open. I'm 
Remember that your hands are reflexologies or reflex holograms of your system, of your body system, of your field, of your physical body. And so when we're enhancing the energy to the hands, we're enhancing the energy overall. Charging the hands charges the body. Your hands are the expression of your heart. the breath, you're going to come down, and you'll notice how this changes in the body as well. Just relax for a moment. So we're going to breathe out in the reach movement, and we're going to breathe in now as we're pulling back in, filling the body. You'll feel how it changes the chest, how it changes the cavity of the torso when you're breathing in and drawing it back down, okay? So we're going to breathe out, and this is where you sink. And then breathe in, lift, push into your legs. sinking, reaching up, breathing in as you're raising, hands coming back down. As you're coming down, this is a good time to relax. Try to find the tension in the body. You're grounding, you're dissolving, you're sinking into the earth, you're going into decay. See, exhale, release everything. You don't need to hold any tension, you're going down. Then when you breathe in, then we bring the tension into the body, but only where it's necessary to lift and pump. And again, relax. Let weight happen. Your bones, your joints, they fall where they need to fall and they'll allow the body to relax. And then breathe in, open. Sorry, I just messed that up. <laughs> breathe out, open. <laughs> When 
Whenever the physical body is moving down, it's dropping. Just let it drop. When it's raising, let it raise. This is yielding to gravity, working with gravity. One more. Bring the hands together. We're going to draw the hands down. We're going to very slowly roll the shoulders back. Drop them down. And then we're going to gently begin pressing the palms. So this is the cultivation of the magnetic energy. Before when I have you rubbing your palms and doing the overall, that has its own effects, helping to amplify external chi flow, really kicking up the magnetism through the arms. But we want to work it now more through the field and the overall other areas of the arms and joints as well. And so we're not gonna go into a vigorous push with this. You wanna go into maybe a halfway maintaining push. Make sure the fingers are also pushing. You want to extend right to the end of the nerves, right to the end of the end of the tendons. Now very slowly we're going to let it relax. Let the arms sink with it. Relax. Slowly open. arms hang there for a moment. Relax the arms completely. Even let them rest against your body. Okay, then we're going to draw the hands behind the back. Going to the center line of the body. Roll the shoulders back. And we're going to press. Try to stretch down when you're pressing. So again, you want that direction moving downward. Pressing the palms. Try to stay in your plumb line. Breathe into your core, but also breathe into your chest. This is a good time to let the chest open up. Start raising the chi as well, keeping the eyes up as much as we can. Also looking out your peripheral. Just increase the flow just for a moment. Now the push. 
Try to straighten your arms more, reaching for the ground. And then from that point, slowly relax them. Let it retract, nice and slow. And then completely release them and relax them. Let them come to the sides. Now we're gonna press the hands against the body. against the body, the fingers, the palms, the knuckles, all against the body. And they're gonna slowly push. This hand pushes. And again, not a heavy push, but you do want some effort. And then you wanna find that nice sweet spot of push, a degree of push, and then just pace it, maintain it. Keep your breath slow and deep and long. Slowly working the arm back to the side. Switching sides. to scan the body again. Check for unnecessary tension. Check to see also if you're standing straight or if you're turning to one side or not. You want to be able to try and stay straight. Try to get the whole arm pushing against the body. hips with it. Use the legs to turn the body. Legs stay active.
slow it down, slow it down, breathe in, open. Gonna breathe out, take the right hand, run it down the inside of the left arm. Turn so that the fingers face down as you come around, drawing it up, breathing in. Switch, I'm breathing out, running down the field. Fingers face the ground as I come back up, kind of like putting on a sleeve, putting on a jacket, go all the way. Open, breathe out, and breathe in. side. Going to open, breathe out, collapse it. We're going to go down now, pushing down the inside. Now, if you have difficult with bending, you can even just go to the knees. If not, then you're going to go all the way down. Stay on the inside, then you bring it around and up the outside. <laughs> then you're gonna come back, bring it down, breathe it out so you're grounding. Make sure to bring the bum back with it like you're gonna sit on a chair. Breathe in, draw it up. down the front of the legs just once and then up and then we're gonna go all the way around the body so I'm gonna go up bring it through under the armpits lift it like you're taking water and pouring it over your head then bringing it down letting it run down the front of the body
As though you're standing in a pond now, and you're just moving your hands along the surface of the pond. You're not breaking through the water, you're not lifting off of the water. So you want to try to keep the hands on the same plane as much as possible. Right along the level of the navel, the belly button. You want to just regulate your breathing here. Keep it calm and slow and relaxed. got going on here is a nice charging of the hands. The hands are building chi, but at the same time, you're grounding. You've been developing a more grounded body throughout the practice. And we're just going to let the legs move a little bit more now, though. We wouldn't want lactic acid building up, <laughs> so we want to just get them moving a little bit. Now a little free flow is good. Close the eyes. Let yourself sway now. Let the arms go where they go. Slow it down, coming into a stance and press, draw the elbows down. Eyes are gazing up, tip of the tongue connected to the root of the palate. Try to stay in alignment with your heart center, stay extended.
can really push. We're pretty charged up here, so we can go right into it. Give it a really good push, really good stretch out as you're doing it too. Don't worry about how hard you're, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Don't worry about how hard you're pushing. Just focus on the fact that you're really opening up and pushing. Then let it increase, as long as you're giving it the full effort. Okay, now let it go really slow, really slow. And open. If you can. <laughs> and try to relax your shoulders, let the shoulders sink. If you can feel that magnetic energy, if you can feel that you're holding, it feels like you're holding two magnets in your hands, just work with that the way you would if you had them, even in circles. You can feel how their polarities change, the pressure, the magnetic pressure of push and pull. A little in and out, like a pulse, even. Try that. Breathe in, open, push into the ground. Breathe out, overlap. Back the hands pushing now. Almost done. We're just gonna balance out the ratios. Give it now for the last few seconds. Really push them. And then let it drain. Let it drain, but hold the posture. Hold the posture. Once you feel relaxed, you're gonna bring the palms into alignment and just go with it. arms come down all on their own. And then we're going to let the hands fall to the sides. Bring the legs in shoulder width. Just relax here. I'm going to close the eyes. Allow the body to sway if it needs to. We're going to look up through the brain. Tip of the tongue on the palate, make sure your jaw is aligned. And if you sway, let it happen. You may sway back and forth, side to side, circular. That's fine. on your breathing though, breathing into the core. straight down through the body. A 
Look through your eyelids. Slowly open the eyes, very slowly. You're going to breathe in, push into the ground as the arms come up. And closing out. <laughs>